Hello, Bill DeWeese here from Palm Harbor, Florida with Long Strange Journey. And I have a video today on Hitchhiker's Guide to the Foolproof Blood Knot. The Blood Knot is a really excellent knot. Uh, I learned about it with uh, uh, fly fishing because you use it to make compound leaders. Essentially, the purpose of the Blood Knot or the main function of the Blood Knot is it's an excellent knot for joining two pieces of mono or mono to fluoro. Um, and it makes a very effective knot, uh, one that is, um, you can trim it really short so that it can go through your guides very easily. Uh, I use it in salt water for leaders, uh, specifically for a, spe a specific type of leader that I make, but also what I'm doing here today is making some bite leaders uh, for an upcoming uh, offshore trip later uh, this afternoon. Uh, so what I've got is a 60 pound uh, mono that's gonna be a long leader, and I've got a short bite leader, about a foot long, that's going to be double snelled, so it'll be 100 pounds, a little bit heavier, a little bit more aggressive to be in or around the fish's mouth or rocks or such. And uh, the biggest problem with the blood knot is the knot, it, it just invariably um, will want to fall apart, especially at the last minute after you put it together because you're dealing with two tag lines and two standing lines and you're trying to juggle this all between pinkies and fingers and, and not let the knot fall apart. Uh, countless times the knot falls apart for me and um, so real quickly, one of the things uh, let's talk first uh, about is, oddly enough, hats. So uh, if you're fishing in Florida specifically, specifically, but fishing in general, you need a hat. Hats keep the sun off of you, but also keep the sun from getting behind your eyeglasses, your, your polarized sunglasses, and making it hard to see in the water. Uh, I prefer a visor. I don't really like to wear hats at all, but necessary evil. So a visor and a hoodie to me is my preferred way. Um, but one of the things that have always happened to me, it happens constantly, is I'll forget to turn the hat around backwards or stow it when I'm underway and my hat blows off. This happened two or three or four times and one too many. And so what I ended up doing is I really quickly made this little thing, a little gadget. It's basically two corrosion resistant alligator clips and instead of wire, I clipped it onto a small piece of mason line, uh, braided mason line. So I just, if I, when, I'm, when I'm fishing, I'll just take one of these and hook it to the collar of my shirt. So um, if I lose my hat, if I forget to turn it around or take it off and stow it, um, and I lose my hat blows off underway, I don't have to turn around and go get it. It's great that a hat floats, but I don't want to have to turn around and go get it. It's a foolish mistake. So I made this, and uh, one day I was prepping for a trip, and my hat was laying on the table, and I was building some leaders, and one more time the leader fell apart in my hand and I just noticed with my hat that I had made this gadget. So this gadget actually is what we're going to talk about real quickly. It works wonders in making the um, blood knot foolproof and I happen to have one handy. So it's just basically two alligator clips on a piece of uh, string basically in this case braided mason line. So normally we're going to start I'm going to take my leader and I'm going to take my bite leader and I'm going to make the wraps that I need. This is a, a fairly large diameter, 100 pound test line. So my my wraps only really need to be about four, but I think I'll do five here in this setting. And I'm gonna go back through my loop and I'm gonna pinch this. And I, now normally with a Blood knot, you need to make these very long. You need to be able to pull on them. So you're gonna put these two to four inches of line. And sometimes you have to exaggeratingly make them long because the whole thing wants to fall apart. So um, now I'm pinching here and I'm going to take my other leader line and I'm gonna make its wraps downward. Actually, I want to go upward, very sorry. So we're going to go make our leader wraps upward. I'm going to make five wraps here. This is only 60 pounds, so that's pretty much average. So now I've got my uh, wrap in my uh, line, and I'm going to bring it back down. This is traditional blood knot stuff. I'm going to put it back down through the hole that I've made. And now, rather than try to juggle this with both hands and pinkies, I'm going to put my alligator clip. What the alligator clip does is it's perpendicular to the line. So it stops the line from creeping back through the hole where the whole knot unwinds. Now you can basically let the thing go. You can lean over the side of the boat and get it wet with water. You don't have to worry about this knot falling apart. 
and uh, it's going to hold through and so now I'm going to loop I'm not going to lubricate this because we're on a video and you guys don't want me to slobber all over this so I'm just going to pull this tight this will be a, just a disposable knot but notice as I'm pulling this it's very simple I do not have to juggle this knot at all so I'm going to do a cinch tight and I've got my blood knot I can take this off and I've got my compound leader um, and I've, again the beautiful thing about the blood knot is that you can trim this very close so it is a an effective knot for when you have to be around guides. You, this is not a casting knot, but it's great for offshore and for other compound leader scenarios uh, where you want this to be a tiny knot. You can take your fingernail clippers and get really close to this knot. Um, uh, but the, the whole goal here is to actually make the knot foolproof. And this is what I use, and uh, it's actually proven to be very effective at quickly tying this knot without it falling apart in your hands and not having to jump through hoops to get the knot to be tied. So I do hope this helps, and uh, if you try this and have any feedback, let me know.